Cyrex Studio presents Stable System. This stable contains absolutely everything for a complete stable system, such as horse training, horse taming, and horse breeding. At the same time, a complete system of carts, their management, and their customization. But first of all, let's start with the presentation of the horses and the stables. On the left side, we can see absolutely any horse in real time, its statistics, picture, and information about this horse. We can choose the category and the horse we want to inspect with the statistics displayed. Once we have found the horse we are interested in, we can buy it with money or gold. Choose what name you want to give it, male or female, and we will be able to see it on the right side of our personal horses. You can own multiple horses and see them all instantly, complete with equipment and statistics. You can transfer it to a player, equip it, sell it back at a lower percentage and activate it. Once activated, you can start equipping it, but only if the horse is an adult. You can browse through the equipment categories, view the horse at 360 degrees, and buy the equipment you want. Some can add extra points such as handling, horse life, and inventory capacity. Some equipment requires the equipping of others in order to be used, like a saddle on a horse, you must first have a blanket on the horse. The wagon system can be set up outside the stables. Those for sale and personal ones. Here we have personal carts, just like horses you can browse through them, see the statistics and what customizations it has. And here is the selling point of the carts, they are arranged by category, carts, coach, for work or some can be blocked for certain jobs. And the carts have certain statistics such as normal inventory and hunting inventory. They can be bought with money or gold. Once you have bought a cart, you can see it at personal carts where you can see all the options such as transfer them, sell them back or customize them. Customizing the carts can be done exactly like horses. You can see the categories, choose the changes you want to make, such as color, livery, props and lights. Once the changes are made, you will be able to see them instantly without having to call her, and they will always remain in the personal carts with the changes made. The personal horse has the original in-game menu, and three additional options that are only available under certain conditions, such as opening the bag only if the horse has a bag equipped, putting on an animal skin, or taking it only if you own one or there is already one on the horse. The skin put on the horse will be saved even if the horse is sent to the stable, relog, or server restart. Horseshoes have a very important role in this system. They can be of different types with different resistances for the distances covered. For example, each iron horseshoe adds 100 kilometers and extra points to the stamina. For will add 400 kilometers, every 100 kilometers a horseshoe will fall and at the same time the horse's stamina will decrease until they all fall and the horse will reach the predefined stamina. Horse training is very complex and its time depends on the settings you make. Training can only be done in the training points that can be set for each stable. The owner of the horse will not have to transfer the horse to you so that you can train it. It is enough to call him. Once you are on him in the training area of the stable, it is enough to use the whip provided to start the training. Forcing the horse can interrupt the training and the loss of accumulated experience. Certain movements such as braking, jumping, or standing on two legs can give you more experience. In order to save the accumulated experience points, you will have to know when to stop the training and not to take the horse to the extreme. The horse can be trained up to 4,000 experience points as these make the horse's stamina drop harder and recover faster based on the horse's experience. At the same time, experience makes the possibility of being robbed less and at the same time attacking the robber. Taming the horse can be hard or easy based on the settings you make in the minigame. You can choose how many mistakes the player can make before the horse throws him down, how much time he has to react, and how much he has to succeed in order to complete the taming. Once completed, you can take the horse to the yard of any stable, where you can choose to sell the horse or keep it. Once stored it will be instantly available next to the other personal horses. Breeding horses is also quite complex. For breeding there is no need to transfer the horse. It is enough for the other player to bring the female horse to the middle of any stable yard, approach the male horse and give him the pill. 
Once you give them the pill, they will start to smell each other and to play in the stable yard. If they are compatible, they will start to mate visually. The female horse can continue to be used until she gives birth, but she will have a handicap, which means that her stamina will decrease drastically and she will tire more quickly. The duration of the horse's pregnancy can be set in the config in real days. The foal will have chances to come out as a male horse or a female horse, depending on the chances set in the config. As for the wagons, each one has a different inventory, the normal one as well as the hunting one. You can put the animals and the skins of the animals in the wagons. The hunting inventory can be accessed by anyone, the normal one only if it is broken with a lock pick. At the same time you can set it not to be break into the cities. And calling carts or sending carts can only be set in cities or anywhere. This preview was short and straight to the point, but there are many other things that can be done, such as you can set certain stables not to sell horses or carts, to only be able to view your horses and carts, to be hidden on the map or vice versa. Many types of food can be added and you can set how much stamina and life to give to the horse. You can add injections, horseshoes with different KM resistance. You can change and translate anything. This is the first version and with each update there will be new features or your suggestions can be implemented. For more information join our Discord.